Yeah. Isn't that a lovely song? The Bible. Chapter 4. Verse 15. And Mahalal lived sixty and five years and became Jared. Mahalal lived after he began Jared 830 years and began sons and daughters. And all the days of Mahalal were 895 years and he died. And Jared lived 162 years and begat Enoch. And Jared lived after he begat Enoch 800 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Dar Jared were 962 years and he died. Jared. Okay. So Jared was born when his father, Mahalal, was 62. So Mahalal had lived for a while, started to get a feel for life. He had a reasonable amount of experience, 62 year old, I'm 50. At 60, you've got a bit of experience. But I don't have as much knowledge back then. But there was, there was a bit of knowledge and there was experience with the knowledge they had. And he had 62 years of experience, so he had he had a bit of insight and training of a 60 year old man to teach Jared with. And Jared, of course, is the sixth generation of sons. Now, of course, six is the number of men. Adam and Eve, Adam's credit on the sixth day, Eve, presumably, I guess. Uh, but the sixth day is the creation of man in Genesis 1. Adam's created on the sixth day. So Jared, being the sixth generation, is the number of man. So Jared's the man. I know Jared in Canberra is the man. <laughs> so Jared is the sixth generation, so it's a manly generation. Number seven is sanctification, but number six is the number of man. So he's born to a father who has some experience in life, a reasonable amount of experience, not not as ancient as some of the other ones where when they have their children, but he's got a bit of experience going on. So he had a, a, a father which had a, a, a reasonable touch on life. Now, um, he lived to 162 years himself before he had a son, Enoch. So Enoch was raised by a father who had thought for Enoch, because he had other sons and daughters to Jared. And um, for Enoch, he had a, a reasonable amount of experience, actually 162 years, that's one and a half centuries, that's a long time. So he waited a fair while with Enoch anyway, don't know when he had his first son. But um, there's not much more information than that, Jared's father is Mahalal, he's Mahalal. Enoch is his son, and he had sons and daughters. So he did the things which humans do. He was part of a generation which probably wasn't as bad as Enoch's generation. Sin had come into the world, and it, this is one level back from Enoch's days where we have where we have the um world starting to probably get a bit sinful. It's probably sinful in Jared's day, but it's probably not as bad. Mankind probably hasn't learned to sin quite as much yet. It progressively got worse as the, the flood approached. So um, he lived a, what you would imagine was a regular enough life as a human being, probably somewhere in the Middle East in, in around Someone probably not too far from the Garden of Eden, in what we call modern-day Turkey, in my my understanding of the scriptures. So he probably lived somewhere, somewhere not too far from Eden, maybe in the land of Nod. Who knows? But um, lived in a uh, not too hot climate. The 
the Garden of Eden, that, that area is a reasonable amount north of the equator, which is the cent central line around the globe. There's no physical line of the planet. It's just the maps which we do the equator. But it's the center point of the planet, which is a globe, which we do at the North Pole and the South Pole, North Pole at the top and the South Pole at the bottom, which are cold. The center point is where the heat's at, because it, it's, it's practically a perpetual summer in, at the equator. Well, it is really, isn't it? But it's Turkey's a fair bit north of the equator, that, that area. So it doesn't get too hot. Uh, it gets it can get a bit cold in, in Turkey, but um, it's more of a moderate sort of climate, which they were used to in that area. It, it's uh, Turkey has probably got a lot of plant life. It's not exactly an arid desert region terribly much around there. So he probably lived in a world which was quite beautiful and pristine in its its setting. Not much, not too much settlement yet in the world. It's still young and still got a lot of vibrancy of nature going on. Um, the garden, the garden of Eden. Of course, there's a curse going on, and man has to. Um, work to provide work hard to provide the food the garden of eden's possibly growing at this state this time the plants are still possibly growing so we don't 100 percent know exactly how settled the plant life and fauna life the animal life was yet in that day in that region but it would have taken on a fair bit we, i don't exactly know it could have already been established by god on the whole globe potentially i don't know for sure but I lived in a world with plants and animals, fruit, fruit for food and vegetables for food, and he might have eaten meat because that might have been going on. I don't know for sure, but it was probably going on. Um, Cain offered a, uh, Abel offered a blood sacrifice to the Lord, so they probably ate meat, but probably ate meat as well. So he lived in a, a regular life and did the things which humans do. He, he had a wife, he had family. He chatted with his people. He appears to be of, of, of the, the devoted side, the sons of God, by the looks of it. And he was a regular enough man who did the family things, which which people do. Jared was a biblical patriarch, and he, he might have had some sterling religious accomplishments in his generation. It's just not really recorded in Scripture. A bit of information on Jared.